I could live forever, and still my endless imagination would never conceive of a thing as perfect as you. Duh, we are totally in a video game. We're what? Hey there, fellow mutants. Welcome back to our X-Men 97 breakdowns, where we delve deep into the latest adventures of our favorite mutant heroes. Today, we're embarking on a journey through Episode 4, where the X-Men face new challenges and unexpected twists. So grab your snacks and settle in, because we've got a lot to unpack in this extended breakdown. Divided Paths Motendo Life Death Part 1 kicks off with a bold move, splitting the episode into two distinct storylines. While this decision offers variety, it also poses challenges in maintaining cohesion. We're treated to Jubilee's standalone adventure in Motendo and a brief glimpse into the life-death adaptation. The result? A mixed bag of storytelling that leaves us wanting more integration. The allure of Motendo. Let's zoom in on Motendo, shall we? This segment serves as a loving homage to the X-Men video games of yesteryear evoking waves of nostalgia for veteran gamers. From pixelated graphics to clever Easter eggs, it's a delightful trip down memory lane. However, beneath the surface, the storyline feels somewhat lacking in depth, failing to reach the emotional heights of previous episodes. Jubilee's Odyssey Jubilee takes center stage in Motendo, grappling with themes of identity and maturity against the backdrop of a digital adventure. While the action keeps us on the edge of our seats, the character development feels somewhat formulaic, missing the mark set by earlier episodes. Still, Alison Court's return as the voice of Jubilee adds a touch of familiarity and warmth to the proceedings. Storm's brief interlude. In the midst of Jubilee's escapade, we catch a fleeting glimpse of Storm's journey in the Life Death adaptation. Though brief, it serves as a tantalizing tease of what's to come hinting at deeper emotional stakes and character development. While we yearn for more screen time with Storm, this glimpse leaves us eagerly awaiting future episodes to explore her storyline further. Room for growth. As we reflect on Motendo Life Death Part 1, it's clear that the episode falls short of its full potential. While it offers moments of excitement and nostalgia, it struggles to find its footing amidst the dual narratives. Moving forward, we hope to see a more seamless integration of storylines and a deeper exploration of character arcs to keep us fully invested in the world of X-Men 97. In this latest installment, we're treated to a more in-depth look at Storm, and let me tell you, it's been a long time coming. Life Death is a cherished Storm comic arc, and fans have been eagerly anticipating its adaptation ever since Storm's powers were stripped away in the series' premiere. However, with the previous Motendo arc wrapping up, the stage is now set for a whole new chapter of our favorite mutant's journey. The plot thickens. The crux of this episode revolves around Storm and Forge as they embark on a perilous quest to restore her powers. However, their mission takes an unexpected turn when Forge's dark past rears its ugly head. We're confronted with the unsettling truth that Forge once worked for the Department of Defense and played a pivotal role in the creation of mutant depowering collars. As Storm grapples with this betrayal, she finds herself facing not only a new adversary, but also a moral dilemma of epic proportions. Deep dive into character development. One of the hallmarks of X-Men 97 is its rich character development, and this episode is no exception. We witness Forge wrestling with his inner demons, tormented by the choices he made in his past. Meanwhile, Storm is forced to confront the harsh reality that someone she trusted implicitly was complicit in perpetuating the very system she fights against. It's a gut-wrenching moment when Forge professes his undying love for her, knowing full well that she can't reciprocate those feelings in light of his actions. The Complexity of Relationships the dynamic between Storm and Forge has always been complex, but this episode takes it to a whole new level. As they navigate the treacherous waters of trust, forgiveness, and redemption, viewers are left on the edge of their seats, eagerly anticipating the next twist in their tumultuous journey. Will Storm find it in her heart to forgive Forge, or will this revelation drive an irreparable wedge between them? 
The tension is palpable, and the stakes have never been higher. Now, before we jump into the specifics, let's set the stage. In the latest episode of X-Men 97, titled, Why Does X-Men 97's Split Episode Stumble? Two plots aren't necessarily better than one. We see a combination of two storylines, Motendo and Life Death Part 1. Logically, it makes sense to pair them up to maintain the show's momentum and keep the audience engaged with a cliffhanger ending. But does this decision truly serve the narrative? Creative dissonance. Here's where the creative dissonance comes into play. Life Death Part 1, focusing on Storm's emotional journey and character development, could have packed a more significant punch if it had been given its own uninterrupted space. By splitting it with Motendo, a faster-paced adventure, the emotional impact of Storm's arc is diluted. Think back to previous episodes where standalone storylines allowed for deeper exploration of characters and themes. Storm's growth deserved that same treatment, missed opportunities. Moreover, pairing Motendo with another short adventure of similar tone could have been a better fit. For example, a story centered around Morph would have provided both humor and depth giving each plotline room to breathe while maintaining cohesion. Unfortunately, by cramming Motendo and Life Death Part 1 together, neither story reaches its full potential, leaving viewers wanting more from both arcs, looking ahead. But fear not, fellow X-Men fans. While this episode may have stumbled in its execution, there's still hope on the horizon. With X-Men 97 Season 3 already greenlit, the creators have an opportunity to learn from this and deliver even stronger storytelling in the future. Let's keep our mutant optimism alive as we eagerly anticipate what's to come. The importance of pacing. One crucial aspect that we need to address is the importance of pacing in storytelling. Every plotline, every character arc, deserves the time and space to unfold naturally. When we rush through narratives or try to cram too much into one episode, we risk sacrificing depth and emotional resonance. It's like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole, it just doesn't quite fit. Storm's Journey Let's delve a bit deeper into Storm's Journey in Life Death Part 1. This storyline provides a rare glimpse into the complexities of Storm's character, exploring her internal struggles and conflicts. From grappling with the meaning of her powers to confronting her own insecurities, Storm's arc is rich with potential. But by sandwiching it between the action-packed Motendo, the impact of her growth is somewhat diminished. Character Development Character development is the heart and soul of any good story. It's what keeps us invested in the lives and journeys of our favorite characters. And when it comes to a beloved series like X-Men 97, the stakes are even higher. Fans have grown up with these characters, watching them evolve and grow over the years. So when an episode falls short in delivering meaningful character development, it's bound to leave a lasting impression. The balance of action and emotion. Finding the right balance between action and emotion is a delicate dance for any storyteller. While adrenaline-pumping action sequences are undoubtedly thrilling, they're most impactful when juxtaposed with moments of quiet introspection and emotional depth. Life Death Part 1 provides a perfect opportunity for such moments, allowing us to delve into the inner workings of Storm's mind and heart. However, by intercutting it with the high-octane Motendo, the emotional beats lose some of their resonance. Fan Expectations As fans of X-Men 97, we have certain expectations when it comes to storytelling. We crave the same depth, complexity, and emotional resonance that made the original series so beloved. And while X-Men 97 has certainly delivered on many fronts, there are moments when it falls short of our expectations. Splitting episodes into multiple plots is one such instance, where the narrative suffers from a lack of cohesion and focus. The future of X-Men 97. So where does X-Men 97 go from here? With Season 3 already confirmed, there's no shortage of opportunities for the show to course correct and deliver the kind of storytelling that fans crave. Perhaps the creators will take note of the feedback and adjust their approach accordingly. After all, the beauty of episodic storytelling is that there's always another episode, another chance to get it right. 
And that's a wrap on our extended breakdown of X-Men 97 Episode 4. Thanks for joining us on this epic journey through the mutant-filled world of nostalgia and adventure. Be sure to share your thoughts and theories in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more X-Men 97 content. Until next time, keep embracing your mutant powers, and remember the X-Men are always here to save the day.